In this next example, we'll look at how to organize a page, not necessarily with a list widget, but with a table of contents widget that helps us look and sort through information much easier than, by, than scrolling. We'll start by going to our reading subject. And for this particular page, I want to add either poetry or songs. Now I can do this several different ways. What I'm going to do is use this text file, which you will have available. I'm going to use this text file that you'll have available called songs. I'm going to select all and then I'm going to copy the text. I'm going to click edit and I'm going to paste my text into the page. When I click save, you'll notice that some of these songs and poems are rather large and that you'll have to continually scroll down the page. If I was to keep adding to this page, it would get abnormally long. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy widget that you can add on a page that helps improve navigation. As you can see, the song titles or poem titles are bolded. We will use these as the titles or headings. And I'll show you how this is done. I'm going to click the edit button and at the end of the word reading, I'm going to go to widget. This time I'm going to add a table of contents and I'm going to click embed table of contents. You can see that the widget appears now on the right side of the page. If I click save, you'll notice that nothing goes in the table of contents. It just says table of contents. In order to add things, it's a very simple process. Click the edit button and select the titles for each song. Where it says normal text, this is how we format our text. And when we say format, it's not necessarily about the look, although it will change the appearance. It's more about formatting for the computer. Heading one, for example, will show up in the table of contents. So I'm gonna select heading one. And I'm gonna do this for each of my songs. Each heading that I select after, one, two, three, or four, is not necessarily the number of headings. It happens to do with how it looks in the table of contents. Heading two would be tabbed over or un nested underneath anything labeled heading one. Now that I've labeled them all heading one, when I click save, on the right hand side of my screen in the table of contents, each of my songs will appear. Here you see the table of contents with the names of the songs. If I click on one, it will take me to that place in the page. This is an easy way for both students and teachers to add a lot of content to a page and include easy navigation for students and teachers to move around. I'd like you to practice now. On the Ivy Hill page for the advanced wikis, you'll see a text file, download it, and then copy and paste the text in. You're also free to use something that you've created, such as a Word document or any content from a website that you would like to copy and paste into the page. Change the, insert the table of contents widget and change the headings to heading one and see what happens.